Hello friends, it's Beck, and this is Beck Arelli's Books. Welcome back and today I am participating in a collaboration. It's called Flea Market Journal Challenge. Uh, that's the hashtag and it's an open collaboration hosted by Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming, Maria from Maria's, um, uh, how do you say that, Miss Kalani, Miss, yeah, something like that. It's M-I-S-C-E-L-L-A-R-Y. Uh, and Susan from Susan Hiles Art. Uh, they are really talented ladies and you should definitely check out their channels. There are 12 other participants so far that are tagged under the videos. Um, I'll see if I can, I'll tag the original video from Sherry that I saw and you'll be able to see all of the other participants that way. Or I just hashtag flea market. I've never done this before. It's a bit weird, but <laughs> like weird that I've not done it before. Um, but I'll hashtag flea market journal challenge. Um, so the idea is to use items that you have either purchased from an op shop or flea market um, secondhand items received for free um, or bought from a dollar store. So I'm in Australia and we really don't have a dollar store, so to speak. Our cheap shops um, aren't even that cheap anymore. But I have decided that at least the construction of my journal is going to be completely free. Um, so I work in an office and um, I actually work in a school, but in the office in a school. And this week I have collected all of the stuff from the mail um, that I think I'll be able to utilise, which I have been doing over time as well, but you could just collect so much. So... Just within, with what I'm doing in mind, um, I have picked up a couple things and also things from around the house that I thought I'd show you. So firstly, um, I bought this coffee grinder ages ago for my, because um, I make my own onion powder and garlic powder and stuff like that. So I bought this for that. And I thought this was a pretty sturdy box, if you can see that. So I've kept that. So that would be an option for the cover. Um, I cleaned out my office a little while ago. And any hanging files that were torn or a bit scraggly, I replaced them. So I've got a couple of um, hanging files that I've just cut off the metal edge. So they could be an option for the cover as well. Uh, there was some packing paper, which I might utilise. Some lighter packing paper. Heaps of envelopes. Big ones and small ones and window ones. Just a lot of mail. Uh, more there's also just make sure I don't show you the address uh, a packing bag the plastic packing bag which I thought I could maybe utilize uh, while I'm doing my hinges and things on my journal cover I'm not sure about that yet but I don't know if it'll glue very well but I kept it to give it a go um, what else? Oh, I had to buy a new clock for my office because mine died. So I kept this because I thought, if you can see, sorry, my camera's a little bit close, but it's got a, 
a two inch it's a two inch edge on the box here this bit and I thought that might be useful I could use this box as a journal cover and the spine's already done for me uh, I also got this which came from Scholastic if we remember any Aussies no book club this came with the book club um, some paperwork and it's got all of these already made spine kind of things it's perforated but it's not going to come apart and I thought that might be good for um, a journal cover as well so I kept that but what I was thinking oh there's some other envelopes and some cardboard that was in that envelope with a piece of paper like papers so it didn't bend um, some junk mail and some bubble wrap so in my mind I, I was thinking about using a large envelope as the cover it doesn't really matter what kind of a state it's in because it will be covered but this is just the construction and because I like a soft journal cover I thought what I could do is actually put the bubble wrap inside it to give it some a bit of puffiness uh, so I'm thinking that that might be my first attempt so what I what do I need to do I just need to get a piece of this bubble wrap inside this envelope with my scissors that don't want to cut so <clears throat> open that up like that and then I want to cut it to fit inside this envelope this, the address oh well doesn't matter So I just want to cut it a tiny bit smaller so it's um, easy to get in that lays flat inside the envelope. It is absolutely freezing here at the moment. My partner is out there stoking the fire and I have to close the door so that I can't hear you guys can't hear all the stuff going on out there and it's cold all right so that fits in there really well <clears throat> and it feels really nice and squishy and it folds nicely okay so now all I need to do is just grab a glue stick and fix up some of these edges that I've torn when I opened it. I think this glue stick is affected by the cold. <laughs> it's a bit sticky. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to put some glue on the inside. Just to stick that down nice and flat. So there's the construction part of the cover on that one so I'm just making the construction part of the cover today and I will do might make a couple 
<clears throat> got time. All right. What else have we got? I've got this. So this one, I think, I like the edge here. This as a spine because it's like two parts. So it will kind of be rounded. And I could actually just sew one signature into the middle. So I think I'm going to use that. That is almost five inches. What are we at? About five and three quarters of an inch. So I'll make that measurement over here. No, what was it? It was four. Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. And I'll just line, make a line down there so I know where to cut. And then with my not very sharp scissors. Actually, I think that I have... Yeah, I do. I have an exacto knife thing. I'll use that instead. Might be a bit easier. I'll get a nicer cut anyway. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, I'm having a feeling that I'm very close to the camera, but I've got the dodgiest setup. I'm using actually my painting easel. <laughs> got you attached precariously there on the edge so that extra bit there that I just threw down could actually be a whole nother one so let's see what would be a good dimension for our side if we've got four and three quarters how about we do seven and a half I can always cut it down again if I want to, but I cannot add. So I think I'll make it seven and a half inches. And we'll see how I like that. I can just cut it. I don't need to draw a line. All right, that's a nice little journal uh, there, I think. So there's so many things that we can use that are for free if we just think about what we're putting into the recycling or into the garbage. And as a new journal maker, a very long time ago, I started making actual junk journals out of real junk. Like, I didn't buy any kits or anything like that. It was just junk and I just used what I had, clothing tags and that sort of thing. So this is not new to me. Um, I've done all of this sort of thing before and I love it. I love reusing things. So that could be another small journal. We could use that as a pocket on the other side if we wanted to. It would be a very small journal, but yeah. Nothing will go to waste. Alright, so there's two options. Now what do we got? The clock box. So the clock box I think could be a big, a big journal. And how I'm going to disassemble this is actually the bottom of it if you can if I can show you that it's got one of these it just opens out like that <clears throat> so 
so I can flatten it down. Like that. Okay, so I can measure the top. So when you're doing this, fold it so you can see your spine facing up. And then you can measure your top without having to open the whole thing up. Measure your top as wide as you would like it. And I think this one, because the height is nine, I'm going to do uh, five and a half inches. Five and a half inches from the spine. And then I am literally going to cut through everything. So there's our opening and then I'm going to measure five and a half inches on the inside five and a half and I'm going to cut through everything which is just one <laughs> just one side Try and cut straight, girl. Alrighty. So then, before we take that off, I'm going to cut off the flaps so that it's nice and straight for the top. Oh, that didn't quite cut. What did I do wrong? There, there we go. There's the top, and then I'll cut the bottom. And this is cutting off the bottom of the box. Oh, that's what's happening. It's dragging through that cover. Oh, it doesn't matter. You watch these people on on YouTube, these people that have been doing this for a long time, and everything is so perfect, and they cut everything with ease, and it just looks so easy. And then you do it yourself, and you're like, oh, what is this hot mess? But, hey, I'm having fun, so isn't that all that matters? I think so. Because I tell you what, I've had a day. I've been at work all day. And this is my relaxation. Alrighty, so I'm just going to cut this little tab thing off because I don't want it. Okay, and there's another ready-made, almost, <laughs> journal cover, which has got a two-inch spine. Very cool. It's quite sturdy. This is a very sturdy box. And by the time you put your cut cover, you can cover it in fabric. I might, I might cover it in fabric, fabric actually, because I have heaps of fabric that I have bought from op shops that I could use for this challenge. So there's another one. Another one that I really like using for my covers are these um, file folders. They, they were hanging files. And I really like them because they are sturdy, they're strong, really strong, and they're flexible. So for this one, what I might do is double it up. So I'll open it out and fold it in half up the up the middle fold and that will be that will indicate how big my journal will be this one's going to be a little one i really like making small journals they're quick and you know i don't know about you but i get bored 
making one particular style that takes eons to make. So I folded that in half, so now I am going to cut it. <clears throat> I'm just going to cut it in half and then I'm going to glue the two pieces together to make it even steadier. measure the height the height is seven and a quarter seven and a quarter so let's go with four and a half I think because this one's not going to have a spine it's just going to be a single Four and a half is a good size. Then we're going to cut through everything. Ugh. Might have to do it twice because that's four pieces. Oh, three times. No, didn't get that either. Oh goodness, I think I might need to change my need my my needle my blade I think it's a bit blunt anyway job's done and now I have all of these bits that I can make journal cards I can make tags I can make pockets I can make all sorts I can make teeny mini journals <laughs> I can make lots of things out of those all right so now to make this so for the construction of this little one, I'm not going to stick these together yet because what I will do is I will actually cover the front piece with my paper or fabric and cover the back piece, the inside piece with my paper or fabric and then glue them together because then all of my edges and thing bits that I wrap around the edges will be all stuck on the inside and you won't see them and they'll give a really nice clean edge and because this collaboration challenge is over a, a month I think for the month of June you'll see I'm going to try and do all of them I'll try no promises I'll try and do all of them um, I'll show you at least show you my progress I might not do it all on camera because I'm a bit awkward um, but yeah so what have we got we've got one two three four four journals ready to go in 20 minutes so we've got this soft one made out of a, a large envelope and some bubble wrap. We've got this big two inch spine hardcover made out of a pa some packaging for a clock. We've got this one which came from a box that was um, sent books in. So pretty sturdy but a flexible spine. And we have this little one, which is made out of file folders. So all of these made out of free materials. The only things that I've purchased to make these so far is my cutting instrument, the glue, um, and the board and the table that I'm working on <laughs> and the seat that I'm sitting on. So these are all... I mean, I realise that not everybody can get their hands on packaging that they didn't purchase themselves, but 
if you ask your neighbours, let your family know what you want to do. People are buying things all the time and they have boxes and things coming into their home and if they're willing to just hold on to it until they see you, then you might get some free products to use and turn them into something beautiful. So the next video that I'm going to put up will be me decorating these. They will. This video will go up at a similar time, hopefully on the Friday, because it's all to do with the cover. But uh, yeah, I hope everybody jumps in and has a go because it's this is the fun part of junk journaling is reusing things, I think. So yeah, thanks for uh, watching and I hope you're having a great night and I will see you in the next one. Bye.